Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the card we're making today. This is the card I made during Coffee and a Card over on Facebook. It opens up just like this, and then you can sign it down here. Okay, let me give you the supplies. The card base is basic gray, and that measures eight and a half by five and a half. So that's our standard card size. I've got two pieces of the Classic Garage Designer Series paper. Uh, five and a quarter by two and a quarter, five and a quarter by one and three quarters. Then I've got another piece of the Classic Garage, this car right here. We're going to be cutting that out using the framelit. Okay. Next, we've got Tranquil Tide, and I've gone ahead and used the rectangle, stitched rectangle framelits to cut out these three layers. Uh, the Tranquil Tide is three and 15 sixteenths by two and nine sixteenths. The basic gray is three and nine sixteenths by two and a quarter, and the whisper white is three and three sixteenths by one and thirteen sixteenths. And those are kind of approximate, okay? The um, let's see, the next piece that I have is white scraps for our greeting here, and then this image here, okay? I've gone ahead and cut out two silver foil pieces using the matching framelits just to save myself some time. I have another piece of the foil to cut out this piece right here, so that's just a scrap. And then the inside of the card measures three and three quarters by three and a half. And again, that's this layer right here. Okay, so let me get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool and we'll start making this card. Okay, so I'm going to place it on the Simply Scored Scoring Tool and I'm going to score it at two and six. Fold it on the score line. I'm going to take my bone folder. Okay, now we want to attach the designer series paper. There's a lot of layers to this card. <laughs> this is not my normal card. Okay, so that's the first one. this one. Okay, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to put one strip on the far right and one strip on the far left and then this inside card piece goes right inside there and you can turn it in either direction so it can go that way or that way, whatever you prefer. Okay, now let's go ahead and stamp our images, then we can get the big shot out. So the inside, I'm going to stamp this with uh, Memento ink. And then the Best Dad, also with Memento ink. Okay, now if you don't want to cut your designer series paper, you can always stamp the car. I colored this one with Smoky Slate. You could color it with uh, the basic black Stampin' Blends or the basic, let's see, or the dark Smoky Slate because this is the light Smoky Slate. Okay, so let's get the big shot. Let me go through the framelits really quickly. So these are the three framelits that I used for these three layers. And then this is the one we're going to be using for the greeting. I use this one for the gears. This is the one we're going to use for the car. And this is the one we're going to use on the greeting, the best dad, and the foil. Okay? Okay, so here's the big shot. I get it platform and a cutting pad. We'll start with the car. And I'm just going to line this up. Now 
There's that one. Now let's cut out the greeting. This is the inside greeting. Now we're going to cut out the best dad. And then our silver foil. Okay, so now let's get all of our images in here. So we've got the greeting for the inside, and I'm going to take my uh, Stampin' Dimensionals and add it to the inside with those. And let's see, how do I have this one? Looks like I have it turned this direction. Yeah, so I'm going to do the same thing because I liked it. <laughs> and then I'm going to add the little gear thingies, which I'm not sure that's officially what they're called. <laughs> and I'm just going to add them with a glue dot. You could pop them up if you want, but I'm just adding the glue dot to the left side on this one. So I'm attaching it on the left side. And then I'll add it on the right side on this one, okay? Well, I didn't get it, did I? There it is. Okay, so you're going to sign your card right there. Now let's go back to the front of the card. Let's go ahead and attach our layers. Turn this over. Don't forget, I'm still selling the um, adhesive totes. So I have one and two still available. Three did sell out. I have um, been ordering once a week, so I'm not making everyone wait and placing one big order. I'm actually, actually ordering every week. So uh, order one shipped out this week, and the next order is going to be shipping out on Friday. Okay, so let me explain this. You'd only, you only want to put adhesive on the upper part of this because you don't want to put it down here. Otherwise, you're, you would never be able to open your card, okay? So I'm just going to make sure I put adhesive on the very top. And this liquid glue, even though it's somewhat messy sometimes, it is a very strong adhesive. And so when it's raining here, um, and it is, it's been storming. <laughs> We go from winter, winter, winter to rain, rain, rain. Um, so this adhesive works great when we have horrible weather. Those of you that have humidity like we do, you understand. Okay, so now I'm going to take our car. It's going to go right about there. Let me show you how to assemble these two. So I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to turn that upside down. Place them inside of each other just like they were meant to be, um, except I moved it. Let me get my paper piercer. Okay, so I'm going to take a mini dimensional and place it right there. You can use a regular dimensional on the sides if you want, or you can use mini, whatever you prefer. Okay, see, now that they're nestled together. I guess that's what you call them. Now we're going to take one of these classic garage metal elements. I love these things. I actually bought myself a few extra because Chase is a car person. A major car person. <laughs> that's an understatement, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and attach the car. You could pop it up if you want, but I'm not going to. Don't forget, there's an inspiration sheet over on my website. It's free. It has the measurements, the picture, and all that, all the details. Okay, so there's, it's going to go right about there. And I'm going to use my paper piercer to peel the backing off. 
I still have these chick stands available over on my website if you'd like to order one. I ship those every day as well. Okay, that's going to go there. And then I'm going to use my paper piercer again and add a glue dot to this wrench. And when I was making this uh, card on my live video, I, I told everyone that the hardest part of this card for me was figuring out where to place, how to place this wrench. Like, where exactly do I put it? I'm okay with it right there. I think it looks cute, right? Okay, so original, the one we just made, and then here's the inside. Now, if you don't want to say best dad, let's say that you have someone that has a birthday, you can use other images with this framelit. I'm calling this framelit gold <laughs> because, look, you can get these little speech bubbles. They're so cute. So the sky's the limit. Whatever you can find uh, to fit inside of that, you can cut it out. I have a couple images here. Let's see. This one is just a note, and that is from Home to Roost. Um, this one's from the birthday set. I had another one, but I guess it went flying. Okay, anyway, so if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to head over to my website and print the free PDF. Have a great day. Bye.